person. I'm one of the ones who do not. I, I'm not going for the story. I don't mm -hmm. want anybody to think I'm calling the young lady a liar. She hasn't come forward and said anything except for the fact that she saw a toddler on the side of the road. But me personally, for the amount of time at first, people were like, well, why did she pull over to the side so long? And she had her lights on far before she called the police. That part I was willing to, to chalk up to her. I was like, OK, she probably wanted to verify what she was seeing before calling the police. But then out of all of those cars on the road, no other calls came in. You got semis who can see up above. The, they can view the top of her car and nobody else called. You were gone three minutes after making that call because the police got there. Then they took drones up into the couldn't nobody find you so the, the fact that her wig was left I'm not trying to be funny um, I'm a black woman I wear wigs when I leave the house and I can't speak for no other woman when I leave the house my wig is secured so my question is did the wig come off in a scuffle with somebody trying to quote unquote snatch you did you take the wig off hell I have a hard day at work and to snatch my wig off it'd be sitting in the car next to me so I have questions then in regards to just people keep saying found, I have an issue with that found. She was not found. She came exactly. home. She right. showed up on her doorstep. And right. then there was no, nobody knows how she got there. Well, I was going to say the showing up at the doorstep, no cars around, nobody. They don't know how nobody has a ring camera to find out how she, she got there. And then they're saying she doesn't want to make comments. She's still in shock. If you're in shock, how did you arrive home? Was it on foot? And if you was on foot, then you was in your neighborhood. So take us back to where you was held for 48 hours. If, if you were, if surprisingly, if you gave your address to somebody to Uber or whoever, because you didn't have your phone, you decided to give your address to somebody instead of telling that person to first call 911. If she was at the Red Roof Inn, 911 is three numbers. Anybody's phone number is at bare minimum seven. So you called home before you called 911 to tell them your location. It doesn't add up to me. I'm not saying she's a liar. The story to me is sounding very flawed. I think the whole thing is a lie. And I think if they find that she's lying, she needs to be charged for wasting taxpayers' time. And people are going to say, well, she, you, if you weren't in her state, no, when she was missing, they wanted us to check all 50 states. If she was seen in your state while she was missing, the police wanted to hear about it and so did her family. So now that she's been found, I think we deserve answers as well. It's okay to use us for manhunts. We'll use us and let us know what happened. Is there another child on the loose who's been uh, victimized? Was the child used to bring her in to, to trafficking? Was the child escaped? trafficking if she was having a mental breakdown why she involved somebody else you thought clear enough to do that i think that something's fishy with it i don't trust it